Here we go again. We are back with Captain of Industry. And what you're seeing here is what we'll be building today. We'll be doing some polymerization. Well, it is plastic. We will be making plastic and then we will be also making some ethanol. Now, plastic pretty much will come from naphthalene and also chlorine. This is what we need to move into hospital supplies or health supplies because we really need to help our population like we started with cleaning up that pollution in the previous one. We'll also need to make some disinfectant. So we will be needing to make some ethanol. So you'll see here we have got an ethanol production chain. So we will be turning corn into corn mash and then over in fermentation and moving that into ethanol, which in a future episode, we will use that to make disinfected. So let's get on with the show. Welcome, welcome back, everyone, and we are back with an all-time great. And yes, it's Captain of Industry, and I'm glad to be back with our next episode. And uh, we are going to get into a plastic production. I've left this very late in the uh, game. Normally, you get this one up as soon as it pops up and is available. But uh, we get sidetracked. You know, you just want to keep building and and trying to balance things and etc. But anyway, let's get into it. And here we are. So look at this, a wonderful paradise. We are chewing up the resources just like uh, societies that are moving on and uh, progressing tend to. We haven't touched up here yet, but we've just started doing a little bit of production up the top here of coal, basically readying ourselves uh, for this mine, which will be depleted very soon, which is all coal. Uh, we've still got a bit left of uh, iron and uh, copper as well. Sand's not too bad and a limestone's also pretty good. So what are we going to do? As I said, a plastic, 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 pretty much set to go. So we're going to get straight into it. We've got plenty of power. Uh, plastic's going to come over here. We've pretty much uh, already set up our uh, chlorine and our naphthalene. Let's... For freeze there again Ooh, we're a bit low on uh, population but we can fix that uh we are pretty much pumping through we had that population issue on the previous one we still do uh but we're sort of recovering uh but that obviously hurt some of our production so we're building up our oil storage again as you can see but a big problem here is we've got all this naphthalene we don't know what to do with this naphthalene uh and guess what we're gonna do make plastic so we need to get under there because we're not producing any more gas until we get rid of some of this naphthalene. So we need to pump out and then store a hell of a lot of plastic. Uh, what else have I done? I have now, now I haven't hooked it completely up, but we have now got meat uh, coming through. We did have this ready to go, but I hadn't activated it from our chickens up here. And again, we've just got our carcasses coming from the chicken farms coming over to our food processor, which is turning that into meat and meat trimmings. Meat's going in here. At the moment, we've got trucks just going between and dumping that at our uh, markets for the population. And uh, then the trimmings at the moment are going to fuel gas. Uh, at the, we can move that into food later on. As you can see, we are eating through our food for our animals. So that could affect all our production. But we're stacked. We're stacked to the brim with food for the population. So they're happy. Uh, so let's uh, continue. Plenty of power. Uh, it's just the population, which we can pump up in a moment. Not too fussed about that. We get hit by disease every now and then because plastic leads us to hospitals and to everything we need for hospitals. So that's going to help our population. But we have got a hell of a lot of pollution. Still pumping out. Not uh, because we're cleaning the smog, which is good, uh, and we're cleaning the pollution that way, but we're still using up, or if you look over here, uh, air pollution's pumped down. That was 28, but our water pollution's still quite high. So our next focus uh, will be on water pollution, and we can do a little bit. We've got water waste here. But I think, see, we're popping up a bit here. So we've got still a bit of pollution coming through here. 
So there's still a little bit of that around. So that'll have to be a focus. So uh, let's go straight into plastic. Why don't we? Uh, we need to go over here. Polymerization. That's what we want. And all they need is, at the moment, naphthalene chlorine. So we're going to pump out a bit. They can do 48. These are pretty simple. I remember making these in my previous series. And uh, we could probably just pump this out pretty straightforward. Shadow those around. Probably need something like that. Smogs out there. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. So we want to have B expandable. We can basically flip that around like that and make sure, oops, and make sure we can get to all of these. So the smog's pretty straightforward, uh, all the smoke stacks. So we're going to produce some more pollution here as well. And if we just get our pipe in. Okay. So we have our chlorine here. We could probably just nap for lean in the middle. Probably just do this. And like that. Don't know if we need all of them hooked up, but we'll, we'll hook them all up for the hell of a day. Let's do that. All right, and then we've got our... Chlorine. This is actually a better setup than I did last time. I did this. That actually works out very nicely indeed. So simple. And the only thing is I don't like how that's looking, but we can tidy that up by doing this. Get rid of that bit. That looks a bit more neater. All right. And now we're going to do something with all that plastic. So this is, again, easy to expand straight up as we need more, but that's going to produce 48. We don't, we're actually not producing enough naphthalene for four of these units, but it's safeguarding us anyway. We'll just build two. And then we're going to do some massive storage sheds. Got some space at the moment because we probably will need to expand this and potentially this area. So once we've got nuclear, this will all become vacant. But we've still got all here. We've even got this section to start doing things. Eventually, I'd like to fill in that mine. That's a, how much do they store? 4,322. So if we just, for now, I know I say for now, uh, we go center you up down there. We might need to go down the center, so pop you in there. That give us, just like to make sure there's enough room. Just leave that there for a second. Up you, I want to have two on each side. Do you... Now we've got to watch because these vehicles need to go up this path. So we're going to, have to that's fine, they can go up there. Uh, and then we now need to produce or bring across our plastic which will be this. We'll do a number two. Very straightforward for expansion purposes. How much did we go out? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Again, all set for expansion.
Uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, smog. We've got to do something with the uh, smokestacks. Uh, we do have a large... I think we'll go one on each end. I would like to clean this. We do have sulfur, but I don't want to make any more sulfur. I don't want to use... You know what? They're not going to make the guys very happy. I'm going to just put smokestacks for now, but we need to fix this up. Okay. So let's go pump this out. Oh, yes, of course. Get out of there. There you go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. That's it. I gave you the opportunity to escape. Not going to rush it. We got time. That should come up quite nicely. And they should be all pumping. Here they come. Look at the rush. Ha <laughs> ha. Peak hour. Should make up some road, shouldn't I? You put barriers up and so forth. Oh, there's been a couple of sneaky updates as well. I'll, uh, why they're busy doing that. I think the biggest advantage I like with one of the updates was this automatic return home. So when you send out your ship for a bit of some battles, uh, you, they will come back by themselves. Uh, so that's been an update, which is awesome. Uh, by the way, we could send off a battle. Now, this ship can only potentially... Oh, Polo, we've got to get this started up. Let's go back over here. And we don't have population. I know, I know, I know, I know. But we can do a sneaky buy. Oh, the thunder's out. All right. All right, well, we got our plastic operational... So that is a sneaky, sneaky, easy, and expandable plastic production. That's still going to give us a hell of a lot, but we will need a lot more at the moment. Yeah, exhaust is waiting. Oh, can't you reach them? Can you not reach them? Oh, what have you got? You're building that. And what are you going to do? You're building that. So it looks like they can't get to the smokestacks. Well, we'll have to fast track you guys. Quick deliver. I'm happy to give up a bit of unity for that. I'm very happy with that. Beautiful. And that'll make them happy. All right. But now this is where this could kill us because it's our first time. We're now going to have an increase. There, we've, we've hit, had an increase. So we're right on edge. Like we're still down population. We're... We're boosting up here. Pop's not increasing because of our health is low. And when this rain comes, but that is the aim. We're going to get some plastic so we can build the hospital. So that'll come in the next episode. I'm going to do episodes probably a little shorter going forward. Normally about half an hour, maybe a little shorter. This one's obviously super quick. We'll wait for our first plastic to come off the line here. And then that is done. Now we are a bit low on all of this because what happens is when we were low on population in the last episode, it killed our uh, wood production. So... Here we go. Are we ready? Are we ready? Here we go. Plastic production is on its way while the truck has uh, overrun our conveyor belt here. How about the other one? Oh, here we go. And here's some more. Plastic production, and that's going to make our fuel. So what we want to do now is probably... Do I, I don't have the population, but I technically need to get all of them started. Because I've got too little. That should help, though, because how much do you take? Sorry, uh, 12. So we're taking 24 naphthalene. That should help us pump out. Yeah, that's better. You're making naphthalene. You're utilizing naphthalene and you're pumping it out. Now we should start, because as you can see, we've got lots of oil production in storage. Not much, well, they're the smaller storages. 
water storage. So we're all doing a pretty good, but we're still 46 down on population. Uh, but due to our fantastic rate of uh, unity there, we can do a couple of sneaky purchases. Awesome, we'll take it. So we're pretty much okay with the population. So that's going to be, uh, that's it. It's as simple as that. If we put this into production, do we still, uh, we don't, we can do you as well. And you're still full. So we've got three plastic uh, polymerization happening right now. And then we're going to head over in the next episode. We're going to finally do two things. I'll show you. So we can keep that going. Uh, so we are going to do two things. We're going to utilize this. The uh, corn. We are going to do a couple of things. Actually, we could sneakily do this right now. What are we on? About 15 minutes or so. Let's do this part now. So pause you for a moment. We can. Uh, where are we? Here. We need this. We need ethanol. So let's get that production started right now. Get two things done. Uh, now, what are you producing? How much do you need? Nine, but we've got a corn mash. So we've got to mash it up and that's going to need water, isn't it? So it isn't as simple as just make it happen. Corn mash. No, yes. Oh, food production. That would have to go over here. There it is. Water. So that's going to need 12 corn. We need a mill. All right. Let's do it. Uh, let's go. We need that way. That way. That way. That way. Again, like always. We're going to need some water. But luckily, we have water right here. There we have it. Done. Corn mash. Again, we'll probably just start with one. And then we're going to have to put corn mash. Now, does corn mash go into tanks? I'm guessing it does. Let's have a look-see. All right, let's just do it this way. No, I don't want you. Corn mash. Corn mash does go in a tank. All right, corn mash. We could just go this way. Yeah, we want to probably go this way. All right. Now we need our uh, ethanol production. Where are we? Where are we? We need oxygen. Well, you know what? We have oxygen right here. So this works out like a charm. Now you're going to need nine mash. You're going to produce nine mash. One each. So we're going to need at least three, aren't we? Uh, I'm gonna have to go outside. I want to try to fit in. Try to squeeze this in. We only need. Ooh. Come forward. 
because we can probably make this and then goes over to the left and up when we start making this will be what we'll be making later uh what do we need not the hospital we need to make where are we mash we make ethanol and ethanol will make disinfectant so that's what we're going to be making so we have to send plastic there you go we need ethanol and plastic and we also need so potentially we're going to have to send this ethanol back to where our plastic is uh or we'll have to send the plastic over here but we also need to make the hospital uh tool so if you if you look at where are we where are we? i'm trying to think what we need here we need so if you grab one of these we need to so we need medical equipment and then the disinfectant and medical equipment will make medical supplies for the hospital so all of that is what we are sort really needing now we are running low i can already see over here so it's going to be potentially corn mash you can start and you can start with corn mash to ethanol you can go on hold for now why can't you pick up destination where are you trying to head let's see where you're getting jammed up that's right you don't need to we can just turn you off turn all these off let's go and uh what is it it's v isn't it that 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 that, that. or i can just do this right there we go they should be all off beautiful that'll stop that gonna use those shortcuts uh okay and yeah so that's it so we've done the ethanol production now um and again we will just oh but we've got to hook it all up so oh we can keep that going uh we then will just run you down here we can come straight through here all right and then we're gonna do a runner like we did before Which one is oxygen O2? There we go. And we're going to make another tank going this way. Oh, we could probably go this way now. Come on, truck. Out the way, please. Not ethanol. We want ethanol. Now, CO2, we can't do much with, can we? No. Later on, we'll be able to turn it to graphite, but at the moment, oh, except, oh, we can pump that back into the ground. Awesome. So we will be able to do a bit with it later, but at the moment, 
it's just going to be pumped out into uh, the atmosphere. All right, I think we're producing. There we go. We are now producing our first ethanol, our first corn mash. Chicken's not enough food. We can fix that between episodes. As I said, we had those trimmings we can utilize. Uh, let's uh, open this up because I want the first one to be done. But we are cooking. We are doing all kinds of things. And we may need some more population. We should just uh, go. What do we got here? We have four. We can do that. And we can do... No. That hopefully will give us enough. All right. Let's get you. So we can get our first. All right. It going here it is first ethanol production yay all right so this episode we have done we have completed our plastic production very simple nice expandable look at that we are already smashing that out so we are really super ready to go to the next phase these guys are all wanting to go here you don't need to do that i need to switch all these off import export import export i know i can do the old that to there. Oops. Burby. That to there. Alright. Uh, we need some more food. For our animals, we can sort that out. We've got plenty of meat for our population, which I showed you at the start. But that's the important one. Simple plastic production right there. So it's brilliant. That's what we did. And we have now got our ethanol production. Corn mash coming in. Our food processor there, our mill processing that into corn mash, and then our uh, fermentation, is it? Ferma yep, fermentation and tanks pushing that out to ethanol. Uh, and what we do need to do is put some smokestacks for now. Over here. Oops. That's going to at least make them happy. Uh, so that's done now. So we've got that all set up. So that's what we've done this episode. Thank you all for joining me. Please smash the like. Please smash the subscribe button because there is much more of this to come. And remember, this is early access. So there is a hell of a lot they're still doing to it. Uh, so progress, progress. Simple plastic production. Simple ethanol production. That's going to allow us now to get our hospitals up and running in the next few episodes. We'll be able to focus on that to keep our population happy. Thank you, and like always, I will see you all on the other side.